Odi ho bina kata. Haleluya. Kabi kene bola tambo aise elimu se mga lima. Na bosa au satala ena sena di lesu talelala. So when God said that you are the head, you are the head. If you are still the tail because you want to be the tail. You don't want to be the head. Because if not, then God is a liar. But the Bible says that he is God. is not a man to lie, nor a son of man to change his mind. So I want to encourage us. Even though we face with a pandemic. Even though we face with cyclones. Two just left. Hallelujah. But we will not take away the power, the authority, the word of God that has been said to us. Few months later, one year later, hallelujah, I resigned from my job in 2005. When I resigned, and then we receive this email again from Joshua. He emailed my wife and said, what, what is happening to pastor? So my wife replied and said, uh, oh, pastor just resigned a few days ago. Now he's on full time with some uh, mission team. They are evangelizing in Nandi area, in Lotoka area. Then he sent one long email, hallelujah, what he saw back at home in the United States of America. And he said, I saw a pastor walking with a group of people or with the church. And everything was on ice, covered with ice. Even the birds flying was covered with ice. The trees, the animals, the people in the house were covered with ice. As soon as he speak the word of God, the ice start to melt wherever they go. Hallelujah. There's a power that is coming. And then there was a feather fall from heaven. And that feather turned into a piece of paper. And pastor grabbed that piece of paper. And it was written on the piece of paper, the army of the living God. How can, that Josh, how can Joshua knew that I have resigned and we recruit young people to go and evangelize? See, I want to share these testimonies. That we did not know that. But because we desire to walk with God. Our desire to walk with God. So tighten your seatbelt. Pull up your socks. Because today God will bless you. Let us go to the lesson. The title this morning. Do not allow God to walk past you. Don't allow God to walk past you. Don't allow God to walk past you. This morning, God is walking by. Don't allow that to walk past. Grab, oh, hallelujah. Grab the opportunity to sit and listen that God will bless you wherever you are. See, the blessing is already. You just set the condition. When you set the condition, the blessing releases from God's presence. Because those blessings are for you. It's for me, I'm a sinner. Yes, when you change that condition of, of, of a sinner, then the blessing will be attracted to you. You don't call for blessing. You don't look for blessing. You just change your life. You just look for Jesus. When you are attracted to Jesus, then the blessing will be attracted to you. The reason why the blessing is not attracted to you, because you are attracted to something else. You are attracted to the world. You are attracted uh, to social gathering. Um, you are attracted uh, to, uh, to drinking and party and smoking. How do you expect for the blessing of God, departed God and comes to you? Hallelujah. And that's why it's very important to sit and listen to this sharing this morning, or the preaching this morning, or the teaching this morning. Let us listen to... To the Bible verses uh, reading today. Hallelujah. And I will ask Taltalanga Sivakatawa to read to us. It takes, uh, taken from Mark chapter 8. From 25 to 34. Hallelujah. He will read in Fijian and uh, I will read in English. And uh, uh, that is... Mari kabikan na tigunami korokoro magabiti nung dalesyon matakani si kandinay. E tigunami ni kuspeli sa bala ko marika. E na kenawa se lima. Pasal lima tiga puluh ribu bola, mana tiga na eros sangat bulu ke lima, mana dua ni sawiliki, warga bo, nelayan yang bo, mana tiga na tolus sangat bulu ke bah. Mari kau pasal lima, mana tiga na eros sangat bulu ke lima, mana dua ni wilibu warga bo, tiga na etolus.